So I've turned this motor 360 degrees. I give it a whole turn. I am right back to where the timing mark is at. This is where the pinning tool for the block goes. Is besides where you spin it. You really only need this tool when you're gonna remove the cam housing. Other than that, it could be dangerous if you leave it stuck in there because you'll be destroying stuff if you happen to crank that with that tool in there. So, yep. So now number six is a TDC, which means we can go ahead and adjust intake and exhaust uh, valves. They're both loose. If we look at number one, they're both going to be tight. That tells us that it's a TDC on number six. So we're gonna go ahead and do intake and exhaust and jigs on number six. We're gonna do intake on number five, exhaust and jigs on number four, intake on number three, exhaust and jigs on number two. We're not touching number one because, like I said, they're both tight right now, so we're not fooling with that. Besides, it's already been adjusted on the first turn. So let's try to do number six. I'm gonna try to do number six on camera. Believe me when I tell you that it's not easy to record and do these jobs. I do it because I want to help somebody out there. If they're lacking the information or the knowledge to do it, that's the whole purpose of my channel. To help you out, to teach you something, you know? Uh, so we're going to just intake and exhaust on number six. What I do is I go ahead and loosen all of them. I loosen all of them. See how this one doesn't fit on here, right? We need to use a different wrench that fits on there better. This back one is probably the most difficult one to adjust because it's buried under all this crap. So, anyways, we gotta have. Uh, point zero one six on the intake. How I do it is I go ahead and I time the nut by hand, I finger tie it. I back the nut out and I finger tie the adjusting one. Once I get a slight drag, I go ahead and bolt the nut down. I put the wrench I'm going to use to tie it. And then I check it to make sure it's not too loose or too tight. And we move on to the next one. I back the locking nut out and I hand time the adjusting screw until I have, until I can't go no more. You should get pretty decent drag just by, do, by doing that. And then you adjust the nut. You tie the nut, make sure you still have some decent slack on there. Decent drag, I meant to say, not slack. And then we make sure we have drag on it. These two are adjusted. It's a good idea to go ahead and mark them. So that you know which ones you've done you don't confuse yourself 
That way you can sleep soundly at night and not think if you're tying every single one or if you left one, left one loose. <laughs> then we're going to go ahead and move on to the sus valves. Point zero twenty four. Lift up on this, slide the filler gauge underneath it, unscrew the locking nut, snug this by hand, you get a little bit of drag. kind of nice I don't have the injectors installed it makes it so much easier with the injectors in place uh, it's a bit a little bit harder Take more than one try. Don't rush to it. Just make sure they're all fairly even. A little bit looser is better than tighter for sure. And last year we're gonna go ahead and set or Jake. Go ahead and loosen the knot. This back one is the hardest one to do by far because it's all cramped in here. You just gotta be a little patient.
these jacks are kind of funny to adjust to these uh, tool doesn't want to slide too well uh, so what I do is I just put a little bit of oil on here to help it slide and even like that sometimes they don't want to slide What I do with this ratchet is I hold it, the adjusting nut so that when I tighten the locking nut, it doesn't move on us and the adjustment is retained. And that's basically how you do an overhead on this engine. I'm going to go ahead and do intake. Rule number five, exhaust rule number four, intake rule number three, exhaust rule number two, and I'll be done with this engine, and we'll move on to the next step. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more content.